Hello, I'm Diana. Thanks for your company once again on Extra. Today being Witness Day, we talked to Dr. Arnold Weiner for a weekly health talk and our guest reporter Bradley Gregory caught up with members of the Buya Band in the Central Province. That's a little later in the show. For now being applauded for having beautiful and unique flora and fauna, Rarirata National Park is an exciting place to visit for breathtaking views. Sinifa Kasimani and the extra team spent a day at the park. <laughs> We decided to take a day out, so the trip started like this. While having fun on the road, we enjoy the beautiful view of the mountains and the cool, calm breeze. So we're on our way to Warirata Park. I want to go check out uh, what uh, the park offers to people around Port Mosby and also uh, visiting uh, people from overseas. Yep. It was a steep drive up the Sogari Mountains towards our destination. But first, we had to stop for a breather. We are here at the Rona Lookout and behind me as you can see is the beautiful view of the city. We have come up a long way this morning and the extra team we are taking time out of the office and we are going up to visit the national park which is Barirata. We continue the drive up. The air became colder but the weather was bright and sunny. We passed more trees, savanna grassland and huge rocks. At last we arrived. Varirata National Park is sure a very big park and talk about prestigious. Uh, park was uh, started in the 1970s and it was officially opened by Albert Marukiki on the October 10, 1973 was official opening. I started working about 1979 till now. Well, uh, I was about 18 to 20 years old. Well, uh, it's good to me to stay by myself with the wildlife and the environment is good. Well, we, weekend was really busy time and the public holidays. And weekdays, uh, sometimes the bed watches come and we took them around the tracks. We had about four tracks in the park. One will take you about half an hour to walk. One will be one, one hour. Six, one hour, 30 minutes to walk. The other one's half, half day, the whole bundle track. Uh, they usually to ring me, and about six I usually go down to the gate and open the gate to come watching a bed of paradise, Regina. We had a spot to show them where the bed of paradise is. We are finally here at Varata Park, and yes, this is actually my first time up here. Behind me you can see is the wide view of Port Mosby and yes the park itself is very beautiful. It's a bit laid back in a sense of the park not having much development recently but it is still a very beautiful park. With four walking tracks which can take almost up to an hour, picnic spots, campsites to have a getaway from the city and lovely spots to just sit and enjoy the quietness of the park. Varirata Park has it all. New 
developments are taking place are setting up the park to be once again a prestigious park. And yes, this is Barirata Park. This park is actually the first national park of Papua New Guinea. And yes, it has a lot of trees, beds, and everything that a park has. And if you ever want to come out to visit, to come along with your family and take a time out up here at Barirata Park. The extra team being one with nature and having great fun. Speaking of fun, this next story is nothing short of fun. Our guest reporter, Bradley Gregory, had an exciting time catching up with the Buria Band, a local Motuan band that was quite popular in the 80s. Here's Bradley with that story. Have you ever seen a Highlander wear nylon string skirt and dance to a typical Papuan tune? Well, now you do. The dance floors of the Sunset Lodge in Lea Lea Village rocked hard by the dancers to the voice of one of Central's unmistakable voices of Go Gauma. That's just the appetizer to kickstart events. The main menu is the launch of Buria Band's 14th album, Tadigu. Especially followers of Buria. Buria is still alive. And uh, due to piracy, Buria has been, uh, pun, uh, you know, pun down, uh, only been laid off. But then also one of the very local bands we have around the bay is uh, places like Lo Roku Ikami going up Lo Manu Manu. So we have uh, new creamers, we have uh, local rangers, and uh, Lo Hia Mi Blagat Buria, Igolo. Uh, Manu Manu side, Goro side, we have Aiva over here, Taita Mara, all this. Uh, and Buria is one of our favorite band from Mibla in Chelo, especially Central and Motuko Itabu. The album took a month to complete under a new label, Sunset Studios, in Lea Lea. I tried my best to um, blend them into a, a, a type of um, modernized, not really modernized music, but like, I'd say a modernized local style I brought into the music and just try to change them a bit, but not really. The unique styles of music combined with the local vernacular distinguishes one province or region to another. Buria brings that added Papuan and Motuan taste to its musical tunes.
great local talent there coming up after noon tea.